welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great and if you don't know me, my name is Aishwarya and today I'm going to show you how did I convert this wood plank to this beautiful DIY. It is so rustic and so good. I really love the way it turned out and I won't be showing how I you know placed in place this in my wall uh, because I'll be doing a different video on how did I decorate my kitchen wall using all my DIYs this is uh, the first one in them so to see how I did this just keep on watching for this project you need this wood plank uh, if I have showed this wood plank in my Michaels haul if you haven't watched that video go ahead and watch it uh, I'll leave a link down in my description box and also on the eye you'll need some uh, plastic cups and these two paints I'm using this uh, Amsterdam acrylic uh, in the color black and taupe color and these two brushes and you'll need this um, plastic cutleries knife uh, spoon and fork and this is actually um, a silver powder paint uh, I bought this from India I don't know where you can find this here and some water to mix the paint so all I'm doing here is taking my black paint And painting my cutleries um, paint them to coat and let them dry completely before applying the silver powder paint so once you painted them black let them dry and to the same black paint add some taupe color here what I made a mistake, um, I thought it would give me a brown color but it gave me kind of grey color. Um, you can always use stain, wood stain from Michael. So what I did here was like I added um, a little bit of red to make it kind of brown. Uh, you will see that in my you know uh, further videos and let it mix properly. <clears throat> Once they are mixed, take your wood plank and you know remove all the stickers. Um, I tried to remove um, the back staple, but it could it did not come out. So what I'm doing here is taking my stain, which I created myself, so it's kind of brown now. So stain it properly. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking this paper towel and removing my excess paint so that it can show up its uh, natural wood color a little bit. So do the same thing for the whole plaque, even back, sides and front. So once you finish staining the wood plaque, this is how it should look. It's really turned out how I wanted and it looks so shabby and chic and you know rustic look um, the next step here is uh, once your cutleries are all dry um, this is how they should look all you have to do is take your powdered paint um, I bought this from India I don't know uh, if we get it here so I'll leave a link um, I'll find some in Amazon and I'll try to leave a link in my description so all you have to do is take a little bit of it and <clears throat> I have used my fingers here to you know cover the paint so take a little bit of um, powder paint in your fingers and rub it along um, the cutleries so this is how it looks it kind of gave this aluminium feeling you know um, kind of rustic and yeah it looks really cool once it's all finished 
you can always add how many uh, quotes ever you want you know to give that a look and you can always add a finishing coat uh, to finish up the look as well but i just left it as it is and do the same thing for all the cutleries once all the cutleries are covered with this silver powdered paint this is how it should look so now i'm taking my wood plaque and my wood plaque is all dry and ready to get glued on now i'm taking my cutleries and arranging it uh, like this on the wood plank and gluing them to the same i'm using hot glue gun you can always use e6000 here so once all your cutleries are glued onto the wood plank this is how it should look you can you know rub off the excess uh, silver uh, paint powder paint and yeah if at this point you can always um, you know spray a sealant but i just left it as it is i really like this look and voila this is how it should look So and that's all for this video. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. If you like such kind of video, please give a big thumbs up and also share it with your friends and family. And you can also follow me on the social media which I'll be linking down below and if you ever recreate this a uh, DIY, tag me on the social media and I would love to see your creations there. If you have any opinions or suggestions Leave a comment down below. Till then, bye.